Hey everyone, Valerie here, and welcome back to Art a la carte. I'm going to be doing a drawing tutorial today that I got from several of my viewers on how to draw a chicken. Now for those of you who don't know, I actually own several chickens, and they live in my backyard. So I went, I decided I would go out and record them and get some, you know, reference photos for you guys. And as I walked out there, I realized they were in the midst of their winter molt. Now for those of you who don't have chickens, once or twice a year chickens will take a break from laying eggs and so they just stop laying and when they do they their feathers like fall out <laughs> and they look really really ugly and so of course this is the time that they decide they want to do this um, when I want to video them and show them to the world so I apologize for my scraggly looking chickens but they're very fun now that I have some good reference photos let's head over to my art desk and I'll show you how to draw a chicken so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a kind of slightly at a diagonal line here. This is the back of the chicken. So this line is going to pivot depending on what the chicken's head is doing. The head's over here. If the head's up, this line is going to be a little slightly diagonal this way with this point coming up. If the chicken is pecking on the ground, then this diagonal line is going to go down this way. So you want to kind of decide what your chicken is doing and place in your diagonal line. And then I'm going to, about halfway from, from the line, I'm going to kind of come out, and this is going to be my center point, and I'm going to make then a rounded triangle to that. And this is just my guideline. So there's my rounded triangle. So this is kind of the chicken body here. And then I can go ahead and put in the chicken head right up here. And so I'll put my circle for the actual chicken noggin and then just taper the neck down right along down there. And different breeds have longer necks, some have shorter necks, so it just kind of depends on the chicken you're drawing. And then down here is the tail feather, so they kind of pooch up a little bit. And again, different breeds of chickens have, you know, poofier chicken feathers. But to do the feathers, I'm just going to kind of make some little wavy lines coming back down, down along here, which kind of make it fan out a little bit. And then they have for lack of technical term, they have their little fanny feathers. These are like their tail feathers, but this is kind of like, I don't know, there's just really floofy down. So it kind of pooches out a little bit more and then goes underneath towards the back of the leg. So it kind of makes this really slight wavy line. It goes around and in just slightly and then around and in. And if you just kind of do with those little um, kind of little loopy lines, you're going to get that feather texture. Then they do have their legs. You mean chicken legs, drumsticks. And you don't really see, I mean, the you know, the leg is the thigh is up here, and you know, it's you know, it's coming down to the back of this leg here, but you really just see just this part because of all these feathers. Sometimes when my chickens are in a really good molt, you can see a lot of this going on there. But if you want to see kind of what the chicken body looks like, you know, just go to your butcher shop and take a look at a chicken that has been prepared and you kind of see how the legs and everything work together. So this is the drumstick up here. This is the part that we eat. This part here is usually cut off. So we see this part when we eat it. So it kind of comes down and then they have one toe that kind of comes back and then they have three toes that come forward. So there's the back toe, one, two, and then the third one you might not see, just depending on the angle of the chicken. It's kind of tucked in behind there. Um, while we're here, we'll go ahead and put in the other leg, and you might just see just a little hint of the kind of the feathers from that leg there coming down. And you'll see that I'm coming down at an angle. I'm not bringing the legs straight down. I can bring it in at an angle. And because it's, it's back a little further, I'm going to stop it a little bit higher and place that back toe and then the front toes coming in. All right, so we have our wing, which we're just going to come right up here and just draw this kind of like a C shape, almost like it's laying down, like a really lazy C, and it comes back to a bit of a point. And that's the shape of our wing, but we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did here. We're just going to give kind of a little bit of a loopy with the feathers at the very tip there. And now right here at the chest, they have kind of their, their breast um, bone right here kind of comes out and then kind of goes down so it's not just this total swooping around. 
comes out and down just ever so slightly. And then all we have left to do is the chicken head. All right, so I'm going to get my nice good circle, and depending on how my chicken is looking, it can pivot. So if I want her looking straight up, like she's looking at a bug or something, her beak can go up this way. If I want her looking down, it can pivot down. Um, I'm going to have it just kind of coming off to the side here, so I'm just going to draw my straight line out, and then draw in the top beak. And the top beak comes out not too thick, and it wraps down in with a little bit of a hook. Not as hook shape as like an eagle or some uh, a bird of prey, but a little bit of a hook. And then the bottom part of the beak follows the same contour line as that, and it's a little bit thinner than the top beak. They have their eye, not directly in the center, but uh, pretty close. And then they don't have a lot of feathers that come up around their eyes, at least in the breeds that I have. And so they have kind of the feathers here, and then it gets really thin around the eye, and then thins out a little bit underneath the bill or the beak. Then they have these great combs. They have a flat, a little bit of a flat head there, and they have these great combs. And again, depending on the breed, they'll be bigger or smaller or, you know, all that good. And then they have down here, I think this is called a waddle right down there. So there we have our chicken kind of drawn in and now you can kind of go back in and you know fix anything that you want to. Um, again it's always good to draw really lightly so that you can go back and erase if you need to. Um, but uh, I'm going to make her tail feathers just a little bit bigger. What you can do now is take your eraser and erase the lines that you don't need anymore. Just going to clean her up just a little bit. And you can go back and you know add some shading and shadowing and all that kind of fun stuff right in there. I'm going to go ahead and shade in her feathers to kind of give her make her look a little bit more realistic. Or you can totally color her with you know color pencils, you know crayons, markers, paint her, whatever. Now as I shade in around her eye, I want her eyeball to be darker than her skin, and but you'll notice I leave a little bit of shine mark in there, and that shine mark just adds a little bit of life to her. If I just kept it all dark, she'd kind of look a little bit um, fake or dead. <laughs> so if you have to shade a, a larger area and you don't want those kind of line pencil lines, if you use the sides of your pencil, you can get kind of a flatter, um, more even tone to your pencil. It's a little harder to get into those detail areas, but um, a little bit of practice you can kind of figure out a really nice little balance for it. Also, by turning your uh, paper in the direction that you want it to go really can also help as well. So if you find your chickens looking a little bit flat, to add a little bit of dimension, find parts that you want to push back, like underneath this wing. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow underneath this wing and I'm going to blend that out this way. I'm going to keep a nice crisp line from here to here, but from here down I'm going to blend this out just a little bit and it's going to pop that wing out. A little bit of a pressure to my pencil, kind of layer that up a little bit. I'm going to shadow this back leg in just a little bit darker than the front leg because it's just going to push that back. Make it almost like a silhouette. And then I can add just a little bit of ground by using the side of my pencil and just dragging that along there. Add a little bit more shadow underneath where the hen is standing. And there we go, our finished drawing of a chicken. Once you finish your drawing of a chicken, make sure to sign it, then take a picture of your drawing and post it to my Facebook page or Instagram because I want to see your chickens too. For those of you who don't know, if you are interested in just seeing more photographs and things more of my personal life, my Instagram page is the place to head for that. I'm showing, I show a lot of drawings that I do here on my tutorials, but a lot of other just personal drawings and weird random things that happen in my life. So if you want to learn a little bit more about me, check out my Instagram page. I'll put the link in the description box below. 
And then for more information about um, the actual channel and kind of the business aspect of this, um, head over to my Facebook page for that. In fact, we just finished our 50,000 subscribers contest. So if you want to find out who won that contest, you can head over to the Facebook page and have a posting listing um, the winners there. So again, thank you everyone who entered that contest and worked really hard trying to find those minute little things. You guys were fast. That was amazing. It was a super fun contest. I'd also like to know what your thoughts were about that contest. If you liked that type of contest, if you didn't like that kind of contest, if you have ideas for future contests or giveaways, let me know in the comment box below. I would love to hear about that. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. His fingers are going to kind of end right at this line. So you want kind of nice teardrop shaped in here where you still have room for his fingers.